All right, hello there. Welcome to the channel. My name is James, and here at 20th and 21st Movies, we are about all things cinema. All right, today we continue our monthly director spotlight series where we turn the spotlight on a specific director and we'll share a few films from that director's filmography to give you a taste of what that director has contributed to the world of, of cinema. This is our Taste of Directors series. We do this every month of the year with the exception of December. We'll just talk about a specific director and share a little bit about the cinema that he or she has created. And I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section with each of these installments of what you think about these directors. This month, I'm turning the spotlight on director Antoine Fuqua, who has delivered to us a number of amazing cinematic uh, delights over the years. A lot of these films have starred one of the greatest actors of all time, Denzel Washington. So He's collaborated with him on a number of films. In fact, he's collaborated with him on every film I will spotlight here, the three films that I've selected. So on the other side of this, I'm looking forward to getting into Taste of Antoine Fuqua films. And I definitely want to hear in the comments section below what you think of director Antoine Fuqua and what are some of your favorite films from him. So let's get into it. <music> Juan Fuqua has given us some amazing films over the years, and I am looking forward to talking about a few of them here in this installment of Taste of Director series. So let's go ahead and jump into it here. I am going to add to the stage here in StreamYard. I like StreamYard. I've been using StreamYard for a number of my pieces of content recently just due to you know, my schedule and, and expediency, and it's worked out well for me. I do want to hear in the comments section what you think about this format. I do want to uh, return to more of the format where I have my uh, TV behind me with you know stuff going on and using my uh, Sony camera, and I, I, I enjoy that format as well. But just for time expediency, I've been sort of leveraging this StreamYard, and it's working out pretty well for me. Let me know how it's working out for you. So anyway, this is Antoine Fuqua. This is the famous director. Of course, he was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So that's where he got his start here. So I got a little little picture here of Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania. And you may wonder why I have a picture of this gentleman here, Shinobu uh, Hashimoto. There's a reason for that. Of course, this individual here, Shinobu Hashimoto, has really had an influence on Antoine Fuqua as far as you know, an artist. This uh, gentleman here, Hashinobu, has been a collaborator of Akira Kurosawa, famous Japanese director Akira Kurosawa. And so a big part of the inspiration that Antoine Fuqua has gathered that has gone into his filmmaking has come from this individual right here. And there's a quote here that says, Shinobu Hashimobo's writing was so beautiful and poetic and powerful and heartbreaking. It was all about justice. It was all about sacrifice. And it made me want to be one of those guys. I came from a rough area and I had my own version of watching poor people getting pushed down. Whenever the person, whoever the person was who had the power, they would come in and take from other people. So that was an inspiration for Antoine Fuqua that has sort of you know, weaved his way into a lot of the narratives of the films that he's done. So, and this is one of the things that I find fascinating when you look at different filmmakers and directors, just understanding, you know, where they came from and what inspired them as they went into filmmaking, what got them into filmmaking, and what are some of the inspirations that has, um, you know, informed their filmmaking voices along the way. So in the case of Antoine Fuqua, this uh, Japanese writer, Shinobu Hashimoto, has played a role in that. So that's something I did not know until I started looking into his background. So of course, after honing his craft in music videos and commercials, he started out doing you know those uh, types of mediums. He then burst into the film scene with his feature film debut. And you may wonder, what was his feature film debut? Well, Antoine Fuqua started out with this film here, The Replacement Killers, starring Chow Young Fat and, Mir and Mira Sorvino. So this was Fuqua's directorial debut, his first film. And 
Wow. I, I don't think I've ever seen the replacement killers, but I really love this poster. And I want to hear in the comments section what you think about this movie. Now, the replacement killers was Antoine Fuqua's directorial debut, but it is not one of the films that I'm spotlighting in this month's discussion. The films I'm going to spotlight in this month's discussion for Antoine Fuqua are the following. Training Day from 2001. We'll talk about Magnif The Magnificent Seven from 2016. And we'll talk about The Equalizer 2. This is the second. A Antoine Fuqua has directed all the Equalizer films, but I'm going to talk about The Equalizer 2 here. So these are the three films that I'm going to spotlight in this month's entry, Taste of Directors series. And let's not stand on ceremony. Let's go ahead and get into the very first one, Training Day. This was his second film. His first film was The Replacement Killers, as you see here, starring Chow Young Fat. And then he began his collaboration, famous collaboration with Denzel Washington in 2001's Training Day. This is the film that won Denzel his second Oscar and his first Oscar as Best Actor. So he won for Best Supporting Actor in the movie Glory. Now he got his Best Actor win for 2001's Training Day, starring himself and Ethan Hawke, directed by Antoine Fuqua. So this is quite an amazing film. It basically centers around Denzel Washington's character and Ethan Hawke's character. It is training day for Ethan Hawke's character. He is getting trained by a very experienced police officer and detective who is played by Denzel Washington, who uh, to say that he crosses the line would be an understatement. So he does some things that crosses the line. He is not exactly your straight lace button up cop. And so you see some really interesting sides of Denzel Washington in this film. And, you know, Denzel was known for playing good guys for most of his career. And this was a great opportunity to see Denzel just putting his artistic brilliance as an actor on full display as a, as a bad guy. And he does a great job in it in this film. Of course, under the direction of Antoine Fuqua, you have Antoine Fuqua, Denzel Washington, Great combination. And this is a powerhouse film. Of course, it stars Denzel, Ethan Hawke. You have Eva Mendes in this film. And just a great cast all around. But this is the 4K Ultra HD. I believe I just had the, it may have been the DVD or the Blu-ray of this. But this is an amazing, amazing movie. If I must say so myself. So, you know, Antoine Fuqua, he actually, just to bring some realism to the uh, fore, he actually shadowed real LAPD narcotics officers to capture the authenticity of the world of Training Day. So that really injected some realism into the proceedings of this film. And it's it definitely shows when you watch this movie. And this 4K looks terrific. So it says, in a powerful departure from his frequent good guy roles, Denzel Washington captured his second Academy of Award playing Alonzo Harris, a twisted but charismatic L.A. undercover narcotics detective who both attracts and repels as he becomes a king of thug he's supposed to collar. Ethan Hawke plays unseasoned recruit Jake Hoyt, Harris's new partner. Antoine Fuqua, the Equalizer Films, directs, guiding a cast that includes movie stars, music stars Dr. Dre, Macy Gray, and Snoop Dogg. Training Day is a day of reckoning. So... That's Training Day. So a really fascinating film. If you have not seen Training Day, I highly, highly recommend it. It won Denzel Washington his second, his second Oscar. So fantastic, fantastic film. Now, the second film that I'm going to talk about here in Antoine Fuqua's filmography is another film that sort of goes back to that inspiration that I was talking about just a moment ago. And that is this film right here. Is called The Magnificent Seven. This is a remake. It says on the back, entertaining as heck. And it is. And look at this cast. You have Denzel Washington, Chris Pratt. You have Ethan Hawke. <laughs> so it's Denzel Washington and Ethan Hawke who played together in this film, Training Day. 
Now they're back together again in The Magnificent Seven, both again under the direction of Antoine Fuqua. So that's something I really dig about a lot of these filmmakers is that they collaborate with a lot of the same actors in multiple films. And this is one of those examples. So you've got Chris Pratt here and just a great, great cast. It says, in director Antoine Fuqua's modern vision of a classic story, the desperate people of Rose Creek employ protection from seven outlaws. We've heard this story before. Bounty hunters, gamblers, and hired guns after the town falls under the deadly control of industrialist Bartholomew Bogue. As they prepare the town for the violent showdown that they know is coming, these seven mercenaries find themselves fighting for more than money. This film here is really good. It looks great on 4K Ultra HD, of course. But of course, this is a remake of the original Magnificent Seven that stars Yul Brynner, Eli Wallach, and Steve McQueen that you see here, also on 4K Ultra HD. Now, I have not had a chance to watch the entirety of this original on this 4K edition, but the few minutes that I did see, it looks absolutely just absolutely amazing. And this, and of course, Fuqua's remake just shows his versatility as a director. It's a modern retelling of this classic Western here. And it just has the wonderful ensemble cast, Denzel Washington, Chris Pratt, just delivers a wonderful homage to this original while injecting his own signature style. So, but this is the original film. And of course, both of these movies here, both of these films here were inspired by guess what famous japanese director akira kurosawa's the seven samurai that came out in 1954 so akira kurosawa's film the seven samurai inspired the magnificent seven film the classic western from the 1950s i think and of course inspired the remake from director antoine fuqua akira kurosawa was of course, a famous director, and he had a writing collaborator who was the inspiration for Antoine Fuqua that I showed you a second ago. So these things, they all kind of come together. They're all connected. You may wonder, why in the world would Antoine Fuqua do a remake, uh, a Western, The Magnificent Seven? Why would, he, why would he do that? Well, it was in part because of the inspiration. Uh, he was inspired by that Japanese writer who used to work with Akira Kurosawa, who did The Seven Samurai, which inspired uh, those films. So you see how things kind of connect and come together. All right. That is The Magnificent Seven. I forgot to even go to the second film here, but yeah, here it is. You know, you see the wonderful actors. You see Denzel, Ethan Hawke, Chris Pratt. All these actors doing their thing there. But yeah, what a what what a neat film. You know, I, I I'm not gonna get into whether or not it's how it compares to the original. I'll leave that up to you, but it is definitely worth seeing. It's got some great performances. Of course, Denzel's always great, and it's Antoine Fuqua's spin on this um on this Western classic. So definitely check it out. So the third film that I'll talk about, this time I'll actually go to the slide uh, before I start talking about it, is The Equalizer 2. And this is the sequel to this. The Equalizer 2 is a sequel to the first film in this series and came before Equalizer 3, which came out in theaters, I think, last year that I had a chance to see. year. I think it was last year. But this is from 2018, and it is... Quite a nice film. It stars Denzel Washington. You have Pedro Pascal in this film and Melissa uh, Yeo, uh, Melissa L Leo. And it's a really, really good film. This continues the story of Robert McCall, who is a man that has some unique skills. He was a, he's a retired special ops kind of guy. And he does his own brand of vigilante justice, protecting those who are oppressed and downtrodden. And of course, this time, in The Equalizer 2, it shows what will Robert McCall do when someone that he loves is, is attacked and when someone that he loves is taken away. So it's a really interesting, different take on the original The, uh, the Equalizer. It's a slightly different kind of film. It does some things that the original film didn't do, and for better or for worse. But overall, it's a nice performance by Denzel. 
nicely directed by Antoine Fuqua, and I enjoyed it overall. I really liked I really liked this character, Robert McCall, and I love the evolution of this character over the three films that I've seen him in. I don't know if this series is going to continue or not, but we shall see. I'll have to look that up. Let me know in the comments if you have any insight on that. But it says, Denzel Washington delivers a brilliant performance. This is from Richard Roper, the Chicago Sun-Times. Denzel Washington returns to one of his signature roles in the first sequel of his career. Robert McCall serves unflinching justice for the exploited and oppressed. But how far will he go when it is someone he loves? How far will he go? It's an action-packed thrill ride. You see on the back here, some of the characters. Really, really nice. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Of course, you see you see on here, this is the Equalizer 2 from 2018. You see Antoine Fuqua and Denzel reuniting here. They're on, on the press tour for the film. You see Denzel Washington and Pedro Pascal here. Of course, Pedro Pascal plays uh, Joel in The Last of Us. So I, I, I love that TV adaptation. That's on HBO. You see Denzel and Melissa uh, Leo's character. And then you see uh, Denzel with this young man who uh, plays a really nice role in this in this movie that I that I enjoyed. So very, very good stuff. This is The Equalizer 2. So I will come out of that and we will do a little recap here. So these are the films that I featured in this director's spotlight series entry. I will put them all together here. Training Day, The Magnificent Seven, the remake of the original Western, and The Equalizer 2, which is the its second installment in The Equalizer series. So far, there's three of those films that have come out, but these are the three movies here that I featured in this director's spotlight for famous director Antoine Fuqua. Let me know in the comments section below, what do you think about these films? What do you think about the films of Antoine Fuqua? And what do you think of him as a director overall? What are some of your favorite films from director Antoine Fuqua? And what are some films that you would have spotlighted in this entry versus what I talked about? What are some of your favorites from Antoine Fuqua? Let me know that in the comments section below. And as always, Thanks for watching, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time at the movies. Now, I did put a po poll on my community tab asking for some feedback on upcoming entries in this series. So very much looking forward to getting your comments on that. For the month of April, I'm going to be spotlighting director Pedro Almoldovar. So after that, I've got to figure out what will be my entries for the months of May, through November. So your feedback in that poll will be very helpful in that. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you all have a wonderful, awesome Easter. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time at the movies. Peace.